the Brown Advisory Stable Plate Handicap Chase is next. This is a Grade 3 handicap. Over two miles and five furlongs. Same course and distance as the Ryan Air earlier. And at the top, Duffcock Collider for Joshua Southern and Gated Complex. With Darren Thompson, Sapphire and Steel, Martin Leland, Western Warmth, Darren Thompson, Loyal Alley, Leon Van Rensburg, Satikon Chips, David Robertson, Mercer and Nubis, Graham Clitterbuck, The Ringer, David Robertson, Circular Bridge, Martin Leland, Quantum Leap, Paul Rhodes, Verglass, Alex Cherry, Carbon Neutral, Graham Clitterbuck, Northern Life, Kevin Minahan, Mig, Craig Beckwith, Sahara Castles, Alex Cherry, Countess Zenyatta, Paul Rhodes, Scintilla and Ella of the North for Padre Hogan, and Invincibility Duplex, for Stu Grace, a good big field of 19. This is what we want at Cheltenham. Away we go. Big handicap fields. And should be a thrilling race, this one. As they race down towards the first of 17. Mirza and Nubis pulling for its head. Wants the lead. So too does Mig by the looks of things. And they get to the first. And over it goes. There's the one down already. And it's Loyal Alley. So one of the Leons has gone. And I've got a feeling that might be his only one in the race. I think it is, so he's not going to win this one. And there's another one down there. His Verglas has gone. So Alex Cherry, I think that was one of his ones that was fancied for a win. So a couple of big name fallers really in the first two fences. They get two to third and the pace is pretty quick. And it's being set by Mig and Mersler and Newbys for Craig Beckwith and Graham Clitterbuck. A gap of three lengths then back to Duffcock Collider who's just showing third ahead of Scintilla. Then comes the Ringer and Sapphire and Steel. Then Sacra Castles and Gated Complex. Invincibility Duplex is after that one looking towards the back. Countess Zanietta and Satic on Chips are currently sharing back spot but it's Mig in the lead by about a length to Mirza and Nubis in second. Then a gap to the Duffcock Collider and the Ringer as they get over the fourth. All safely over the fourth, although Circular Bridge was very untidy at the back and has now dropped to last. And it's me in front over the fifth. And down on its nose there was David Robertson's The Ringer. The rest of them got over it okay though. And it's Mig leading by the best part of two lengths then to Mirza and Nubis in second. And then Duffcock Carter in third. Gated Complex is next in Sapphire and Steel and Scintilla. And all safely over that one. And racing down to the fence, it'll be the last next time round. And Mig really attacked that fence and jumped it really well. The one that made the mistake was Scintilla for Padre Hogan. But as they swing left handed, then with a full circuit of the track to go, it's Mig in the lead from Mercer, was in second. Duffcock Collider is third, and Gated Complex is four. Sapphire Steel is five, and then Ring of Six, and Scintilla seven, and Quantum Leap eight, and then Sacra Castle. After that one, and then Carbon Neutral, Static on Chips, and Northern Life, and then Invincibility Duplex, and Ward Warm Warmth, and then Ella of the North is after that one, with finally Countess Zenyatta the Grey, and Circular Bridge as they get over that plain one, which is the one before the water, and race down to the water then there. Just a mile and a quarter still to go. And Mig is going nicely in the lead as they all get over the water safely. From Mirza and Nubis in second. Duffcock Collider third. Then the David Robertson pair are both creeping close. Well, they're not that one on the inside. It's similar colours, but it isn't the second David Robertson horse. They're over that one. That's the tenth. And it's Mig in the lead. From Mirza and Nubis second. Duffcock Collider is third. Then the Ringer Gated Complex is next. They get over that next one. A good jump there by Sapphire and Steel. So that one jump up into third. But it's Mig in front. Mig still in the lead from Mirza and Nubis and Gated Complex and Sapphire and Steel. And then the Ringer Duffcock Collider is there as well. Then comes uh, Western Warmth. Scintilla's next as they get over this ditch and they're all safely over the ditch with Mig still the leader being chased by Gated Complex in second and Mirza and Nubis third Carbon Neutral's move through into fourth as they take the 13th over that one they go they're all safely over it Invincibility Duplex is moving nicely through the field as well they're racing downhill they're swinging left handed they're going to race towards the cross fence and it's Mirza and Nubis and Mig from Carbon Central in third then after that Gated Complex Sapphire and Steel over that one they go that was a 14 just three more to take then now in the Brown Advisory Stable Plate and it's Mirza and Nubis and Mig here comes Sacra Castles on the outside suddenly the whole complexion of the race changes Western Warmth is coming through Sapphire and Steel is there as well over the third last they go and there's a faller there crashing fall for Northern Life as Carbon Neutral takes it up from Mig it's Carbon Neutral from Mig into the Sacra Castles Western Warmth Sapphire and Steel Mirza and Nubis then Gated Complex and Quantum Leap and Duffcock Collider the ringers coming round the outside Satic on Chips is there so too is Circular Bridge and in 
invincibility duplex they're all still in with a shout with two to jump but Mig is still the leader Mig is coming down towards the second last with a lead of about two lengths he gets over it nicely over it in second was Western Wolf Quantum Leap was next then Sinsina and the Rinner and Sapphire and Steel and Duffcock Collider they raced down towards the last and Mig stood off it over it was Western Wolf Duffcock Collider was next then comes Mercer and Newbie Sapphire and Steel and Circular Bridge are trying to run on there's half a furlong to go and Mig's in the lead could this be a second winner of the week for Craig Beckwith he's Mig in the lead Duffcock Collider's trying to get to him but he's not going to get there and Mig's going to take it Mig's going to win the burn plate from Circular Bridge second then Mercer and Newbie's engaging complex and Sapphire and Steel and oh, what a thrilling race that was and Craig Beckwith takes his second of the day with another one that led virtually from the start circular bridge finishing like a train couldn't quite get there and it's Mig that takes it for Craig Beckwith circular bridge for Martin Leland was second Mirza and Nubis for Graham Clitterbuck third Duffcock Collider for Joshua Southern was fourth and Gated Complex for Darren Thompson was fifth so Craig Beckwith joins the list of trainers on two winners